What's going on guys, Bassin and Mafia here coming at you with a new video and in this week's video we are going to head to the river. Me and my good buddy Jake are heading up. It's a beautiful day for here in the late winter. We have 42 degrees this morning so it's extra warm compared to what it normally should be and we got the car fully loaded down, got eight rods, got all the gear back there. You can kind of hardly see it but I literally have all my bait boxes in here because we're gonna be fishing from shore and we're only gonna be 20 feet away from where we're fishing. So got a little bit of everything with us today. We're gonna to throw the whole kitchen sink at them and see what we can do. Stay tuned y'all, here we go. Pretty looking one. Oh, Pop he pops right off. <laughs> Solid. Heck yeah. 15 incher. So right off the bat, as soon as I get there, Jake's buddy Cameron yeah, a is laying in the oh, fish. I hardly even have time to get the camera out. He had already caught one before I got there, and then catches yeah. this one. And then right away again, is on to another one. And of course I turned the camera off. What's up, man? What's up buddy? How are we doing? I'm living the dream. <laughs> oh, nice smallie, dude. Nice little, about the same size. All right. I'll end up down here. Holy crap. What's going on? So, we start off throwing the Ned Rig because that's what Cameron was having all that success on right away. So, start out throwing that and just pop in and along the bottom real slow and letting the current do all the work for me. And I'm throwing a darker color because the river is the muddy. Yeah, he is. That's a 16. Yeah, that's a 16. Yeah, that's a solid one. 15 and a half. <laughs> Whoa, 10, 10 yards out. What's your secret? There's one. Is that a fish? Yeah. No. No? Nope, it's the bottom. Gotcha, Fox. bitch! It's not as muddy as I thought it would be in here. Yeah, it's not too bad. You see where he got it? Yeah, draw, I've been so casting there. Sure. That was like my first one. I felt that looks bigger than the other one. It's fighting heavy. <clears throat> Jeez, dude. Yeah, that's a solid one. He's flipping? No. He's just starting to the. He's freaking fighting. Yeah, he is. That's a chunk. That might only be like 16 and a half, but like... Probably all but two pounds. Yeah. Two, two and a half, maybe. Seems like we're catching like 20 yards out. Like See, I just keep... Right I keep getting stuck on something there. That's probably whatever they're sitting around. Yeah. Wow, that's... This thing is chomping. <laughs> Holy crap. Be a three and a half? <laughs> no. Yo, you could have waited on that. I, I have a tail. I'm good. What's your guess? I think he's three on the dot. No, it's a two and a half. <laughs> two and a half, two oh, and three quarter. Like, two four. He has, he has weight. Two and a half. That's how fat. I'll tell you, two seven. Oh, shit. That is one of the fattest smallmouths I've ever seen. Oh, it popped free.
Now it got stuck again. Uh, 2.13. Is that ounces? Well, oh no, two pounds, 13 ounces. So almost a three oh, pounder. Yeah. Two, 14, Look at this thing. Look at that gut. Dude, that means I was like almost dead on. I said two seven. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that's just under two and three quarter. Look at that You got a shoulder. He's built like fish. a Chinook salmon. <laughs> <laughs> that is huge. Oh, where's this? If you catch a 19 incher, it's gonna be almost five pounds. Holy crap, he's only 15. 15. <laughs> he's only 15. What a chunk. Almost a three pound 15 inch fish. Like, that's, that's, a Saint, that's a Saint Lawrence. They're that's fatter than Saint Lawrence fish. So now I switch it up and put a green pumpkin chartreuse net on that was more similar to the color that Cameron was using and having really good success on. I was doing that to see if it was a color thing, if maybe that stood out better to them and maybe that's why they were biting them. The water was pretty muddy since we're on rising water conditions from the previous day's rain and rain upstate. And I out though, so. And you got your back. Oh, yeah, mine for one. Just tough Oh boy. You're getting me excited over here. All these hook sets. Yeah, it's not fish though, so don't get too <laughs> stirred up. <laughs> it's just bottom. If he starts setting the hook, then you can get excited. Yeah, yeah. Like, that might even. Yeah, finally. Hell yeah. Finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just sitting in that bag. See how much this one. Thirteen. Nice work, brother. Let's say maybe fourteen. Yep, fourteen and an eighth. There she goes. Heck yeah! Finally. Thank you. Good. Now I know what a fish feels like. <laughs> what was that on? Why does that color work? <laughs> yeah, it's the closest thing I have to what he was, the yeah. color he's using. A little chartreuse. It's definitely color and like, you gotta go so slow. Like, let a current do everything. Yeah, you can feel that bite though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they hit it, there's no question it's like a fish. <laughs> yeah. Yee. Finally. Well, maybe if color is a, a thing, I'll have to try different colors to see what else works. I'm gonna try this. I have that same color too. Yeah. Was it like smoke something? Um, uh, that's Gobi Magic, ain't it? No. No? Or Gobi Bryant? No. It's called The Deal. That's what it is. No, it's not. How much you want to bet? I'll bet you a hundred bucks. <laughs> you want to shake on it? Yeah. I know that's not The Deal. This is Gobi Bryant. Wait. The Deal doesn't have flakes in it. Shitty, right? <laughs> 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 Where's my hundred bucks? We didn't shake on that. <laughs> you didn't use uh, Gobi Brian, are you? 
I am now. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> that just smells like a helicopter fuel in here. Yo, I'm just gonna do this for now on. Might be a color thing. I think that's what it is. Between that and going really slow. Dude, I haven't stopped shivering. <laughs> I'm thinking about going to get my other sweatshirt and putting that on too. <laughs> You'll finish a lot better if you're warm. Yeah. I'm sitting there bouncing it down going like this. Those guys are like, yo, nothing moves that fast. <laughs> We're confused. No wonder I had such a hard time getting bites. <laughs> How many people have dropped their rods in the water while fishing here? Probably quite a few. Either that or had it sitting here and let a catfish rip it over. <laughs> so now I switch it up to try a different color. Just because we've been fishing here for a little while and throwing a lot of baits the same at these fish. So I figure Maybe I can try something else and still get bit as long as it stands out a little bit. So I went with the Hot Perch yeah, color, Z-Man TRD, hoping that the bright colored flakes in it would make it stand out enough. I wonder if there's something right there and it crossed it, dude. Yeah, that was a TV. That's all right, though. We'll get it back again. I'm going to try it I don't think either of us could make it all day. I'm gonna put a crankbait on. Well, since I hit that one waterfall, it's there at the break. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually one. I have a crazy line in my braid right now. Oh, come on. Yeah, look at that. That was for sure a fish. He hit it as soon as it fell in there. Really? I thought it was just stuck and then it like pulled when I picked up on it. That's why you're getting stuck so much. And then Ned had the line you're using. Use the EWG ones? I was using that. Interesting. You still got stuck. I've got stuck less with this because it's a less, it's a smaller weight, way smaller weight. There we go. There he is. All right, to plug out. Oh, you'll need nothing. I don't know if you'll be able to flip them. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I'm recording my face. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Dude, I'm recording my face. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Pretty looking one too. Yeah, it is. Real brown. Heck yeah, guys. Oh man, and the hook just fell right off of him. It's another 14, 15 inch. Yeah, I wonder what he is. I got a board. You guys want to use it right there? Probably be way easier. 15. <laughs> You're 
you're gonna start that, you're gonna find that clip, and you're gonna see that I was holding it the wrong way for the first seven seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? Yeah. You're gonna no. get right up my nose. You'll be like, oh wait, it's still recording. Just... Oh wait. <laughs> it's still recording. Yeah, you're gonna get another seven seconds at the end of my nose. <laughs> That's amazing. I was, like, I was like, I feel like last time I held the camera up, I could see the screen, and now I can't see a screen. <laughs> Around like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the secret? I'm telling you, really slow. Like, like, painfully slow. Is that a new rod? No, I've had this forever. This is the Abu Garcia verdict. I shouldn't use that one. It's because I usually only use my Enigmas. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> this rod's one of my most sensitive rods, though. That's why I brought it along. I can't catch him. Painfully slow. Got it. Like I'm literally just <coughs> moving it enough. Like if I feel a catch, I like pop it a tiny bit, but I'm letting the current do everything mostly. But you definitely feel a bite. Like they're not. And this is a different bite. color too. This is that hot perch color or whatever. It's like semi-translucent. It's like kind of close to that hot snake, mm -hmm. but doesn't have chartreuse. But I figured the uh, gold and green and orange flakes should be enough for him to see. Yeah. Is that with garlic on it or no? Mm hmm Scent makes a big difference in the winter too. Oh, I know that. Flipping her. It's a little one. <laughs> you might bend your rod in half trying to do that. You gotta do it quicker. <laughs> Not much of a boat flipper. Yeah, I thought my boat flip was pretty good. Mine was pretty bad. Just pop right out. How nice. 13 and a half. Maybe? I got it. I want to catch one with a nice, like, black. How big is it? Probably 13. Smallest one's 15. Well, yeah, I just behind. broke your record. My board's behind you, buddy. Yeah, I should probably use that instead, shouldn't I? 14 and a half. Not bad. Alright, Alan, you might have to cross. Alright. Woo! First one of the year. All schoolie sizes. First big boys. Yeah, you caught a big boy. 17 and a half. Yeah. I pulled up on, because uh, I looked it up on the cheap, on the X app, and show Yeah, can we get the key? <laughs> so he can park, like, right next to the key. Yeah, maybe. That's crazy. Hoping as the river keeps climbing up, they pull around and they come in here. Goddamn bug! Get out of my ear! I know. I looked over. He had like four of them on his freaking head. Oh, he's trying to buy it like four. Of them. Yeah, you got. You got them on your back <laughs> too. Are those those stone flies? It looks like it. Or mayflies or whatever. I sure hope mayflies aren't hatching. I mean, they might be confused. They might think it's nice. That warm weather yesterday yeah, fucked right? them all up. <laughs> like, oh, it's spring. No, it's not even February yet. Dude, you got like 30 on your head. I'm getting 63 <laughs> Yeah, bro, you got about a, you got like six of them. Okay. <laughs> Well guys, that is pretty much going to conclude this video on the river. 
Had a lot of fun fishing with all the boys. We caught a decent amount of fish for a middle of January day or end of January day at that. So it was cold. We had a little bit of spike in temperature the day before. This day it was warm in the morning but then got cold once we were out and about, of course. And of course, close to water, it gets colder as well. But we were on rising water conditions and a lot of rain came down from upstate. So the river was ri rising and it was expected to peak around midnight, I think, that night. It rose about a foot and a half, two foot while we were there. So that was a good bit. And we were there most of the day and the big flourish of fish came in the morning. The morning bite was hot and towards the middle to end of the day, it got slow and the fish stopped biting. Most of our fish came off of one particular area and I believe that is because there was a big log there, a tree that was underneath the water that we couldn't see. And I'm thinking that because I got stuck on it a bunch of times and it was in a pretty large area. So thinking it was a big tree or log that had washed up and got stuck in between the rocks there that come up to the side of that little pier. And all the fish were huddled around that and it was like if you threw to that specific area that's where most of the fish were caught and it was all off the Ned Rig. The key was going really, really slow. A couple of the guys were fishing a little too fast at the beginning. I think that's why Jake had a little bit of trouble slowing down that much. He's not used to fishing in the winter, so we'll cut him a little bit of slack. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. But we uh, were going really slow, painstakingly slow, and that's what it takes in the winter to get bites, especially fishing the Ned Rig. Just pop it real slow, just enough to keep it moving with the current. You don't want it bouncing all around and you want it weighted perfect that it's just nice and easy floating along down through because fish this time of year aren't moving fast typically so anything fast would be unnatural to them but that's what we did and that's what it took to get the bites at first i thought it was a color thing but after i switched and caught another one then and Technically, that was three different colors that we had caught fish on. So I don't think it was quite a color thing. I think it was more getting it in the right area and getting it in front of the fish and going slow enough. But key was really slow. And with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found some of these tips helpful and hopefully you can get on the water and catch some nice fish of your own. And make sure you all get entered into my giveaway. As soon as we hit 1500 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away five of my favorite lures. So to be entered into that giveaway, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. So do that now. You gotta comment for an extra entry and you gotta like this video and you can share it on your social media for another entry as well. But do all that, get entered into the giveaway. We'll see you next Thursday, y'all. Tight lines. I'm taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree